An incident unfolded in the picturesque coastal town of Mariner's Cove, nestled along the rugged cliffs of the Caribbean. The fateful summer of 1989 unfolded as the salty breeze gracefully mingled with the enchanting scent of pine trees, creating a vibrant tapestry that vividly portrayed the rich maritime history of the town. Mariner's Cove had gained a well-deserved reputation for its thriving fishing industry, which had brought prosperity and livelihood to the local community. The cove's waters teemed with an abundance of marine life, creating a bustling hub of activity as fishermen cast their nets and lines, eagerly anticipating the bountiful wonders that awaited them beneath the surface. The tales of oceanic wonders that had weaved their way through the waves were nothing short of mesmerizing. Whispers of majestic creatures like massive sharks had fascinated the imaginations of locals and visitors alike. These enchanting stories are passed down from generation to generation and have become an integral part of the cove's rich maritime heritage. As the sun lay below the horizon, casting a golden glow upon the tranquil waters, the fishermen would gather around the flickering flames of the harbor's bonfire. The town had borne the scars of countless storms, with each wave crashing against the shore and leaving its mark on the weathered docks and time-worn lighthouses that had stood sentinel over the tumultuous sea. Whiteman Parks, a resilient 45-year-old with weathered hands and a heart entwined with the sea, had found himself at the heart of a gripping conflict. On a fateful afternoon, he embarked on a documentary expedition, filled with excitement and anticipation, to unravel the wonders that surrounded tiger sharks. With his camera equipment meticulously packed and his research notes in hand, he set off on a journey that would take him deep into the heart of the ocean, where these majestic creatures roamed. As he ventured further into the vast expanse of the sea, he encountered a myriad of challenges and obstacles that tested his determination and resilience. The turbulent waves crashed against his boat, threatening to throw him off course, but he remained steadfast in his pursuit of knowledge. With each passing day, he immersed himself in the world of the tiger sharks, observing their behavior and studying their habitat. He swam alongside them, capturing their graceful movements on film and meticulously documenting every detail he could uncover. The goal was not a simple act of observation, but rather a comprehensive documentation of their behavior in the wild, a task that stirred within him waves of anticipation and trepidation. His mission had two objectives, capturing the raw, untamed essence of the tiger shark and shedding light on the delicate balance that existed between man and the wild. This balance, once disrupted, could lead to dangerous consequences. Whiteman's heart throbbed with exhilaration as the sun hung low on the horizon, casting fiery hues across the indigo waters. The vibrant colors painted a breathtaking scene, igniting a surge of excitement within him. The research vessel was gently bobbing on the rhythmic swells, guided by Captain Jake Donovan's experienced hand. Dr. Isabella Bennett, a beacon of knowledge and passion, regaled the crew with tales of the elusive nature of tiger sharks. Her captivating storytelling transported the crew members to the depths of the ocean, where they could almost feel the presence of these majestic creatures. With every word, Dr. Bennett painted a vivid picture of the tiger sharks' remarkable history, tracing back to their ancient ancestors. The crew listened intently, their imaginations ignited by her descriptions of the prehistoric oceans that these creatures once roamed. Dr. Bennett's enthusiasm was contagious, as she animatedly recounted the tales of these powerful predators and their ability to adapt and survive throughout the ages. The crew hung on to her every word, their curiosity piqued by the fascinating insights she shared. Dr. Bennett's passion for marine life shone through as she spoke, leaving a lasting impression on the crew who were inspired to learn more about the wonders of the ocean and its inhabitants. Whiteman listened intently, his eyes scanning the horizon, searching for any sign of the ocean's apex predator. Days transformed into weeks, and the wonders of the ocean's depths were revealed. Armed with a camera and an unyielding spirit, Whiteman embarked on a mission to capture mesmerizing footage of the majestic creatures as they glided through the cerulean expanse. The days would turn into nights, and with each passing sunset, the sky would be painted with vibrant hues of fire and gold, creating a breathtaking spectacle. Meanwhile, the moon would gracefully cast a shimmering silver path upon the undulating waves, 
adding an ethereal touch to the mesmerizing scene. Whiteman immersed himself in the vast expanse of the sea, his senses becoming finely tuned to perceive and comprehend every subtle shift in its ever-changing temperament. On an overcast afternoon, a subtle warning was whispered by a change in the wind. Whiteman was standing at the bow of the ship, with the salt spray gently kissing his weathered face. Suddenly, a shadow, darker than the abyss itself, emerged from the depths with graceful and awe-inspiring propulsion. The tiger shark rapidly closed the distance, its streamlined form slicing through the water. Its mouth opened wide as it approached, displaying rows of sharp teeth, creating a tense moment of uncertainty. Panic surged through Whiteman's veins as he stood his ground. His camera held steady while the beast drew nearer. In a heartbeat, the shark lunged forward, its massive body propelling it toward Whiteman. The predator's jaws clamped down with brutal force, its teeth sinking into Whiteman's leg. Agony shot through him as he grappled with the relentless predator. The world around him became a turbulent and chaotic maelstrom of foam and teeth, causing the camera to clatter loudly onto the deck, forgotten in the life-and-death struggle. The struggle became a primal ballet of survival, a dance that echoed through the depths. With every surge of adrenaline, his grip on reality, on life itself, was fiercely fought to be maintained. The crew, consisting of highly trained individuals, who shared a strong bond of camaraderie, immediately sprang into action as they faced the imminent threat of tragedy. Their extensive training and close-knit relationships proved to be a lifeline in this critical moment. Dr. Isabella Bennett's unwavering authority resounded through the air as she directed the orchestrated chaos that unfolded on the deck. Captain Jake Donovan, a master of the sea's capricious whims, expertly maneuvered the vessel, showcasing unparalleled skill in his actions. With a precision honed through countless voyages, he expertly positioned the boat, effectively shielding Whiteman from the relentless onslaught of the tiger shark. In that crucible of chaos, a web of humanity was woven around Whiteman, as each member of the crew became a thread in the tapestry of his salvation. Strong and steady hands reached out, pulling him from the jaws of the abyss. The battle between man and nature had reached its crescendo, as a symphony of survival echoed through the salt-stained air. In the aftermath, a team of rescuers pulled Whiteman from the terrifying maw of the abyss, where his body had been mercilessly battered. Yet his indomitable spirit remained unbroken. Weeks transformed into months and he convalesced within the comforting embrace of sterile hospital walls. The scars etched upon his flesh bore witness to a powerful testament of resilience, serving as a vivid reminder of the untamed spirit that coursed through his veins. As the days bled into one another, Whiteman found himself frequently drifting his gaze towards the photograph resting on his bedside table. The moment of the encounter was captured, freezing the ocean's fury in time. The image spoke of a communion with the wild, a connection that had forever marked his soul. As he gazed upon the captivating scene, his senses were heightened and his spirit was stirred. The untamed beauty of nature enveloped him, filling every fiber of his being with a profound sense of connection. It was a moment that would forever be etched in his memory a transformative encounter that left an indelible imprint on his very essence. With its untamed allure, the wild had beckoned him, and he had answered its call, immersing himself in its untamed embrace. In that fleeting instant, he had become one with the wilderness, his heart beating in sync with the rhythm of nature's feral pulse. As the days gradually diminished and the wounds underwent the process of healing, Whiteman emerged from the crucible of the deep undergoing a profound transformation that would forever alter his being. The ordeal had etched itself into the fabric of his being, constantly reminding him of the unyielding power possessed by the untamed forces of nature. Returning to Mariner's Cove, he underwent a profound transformation, emerging as a man who had been reborn, his gaze firmly fixed upon a horizon that brimmed with a captivating blend of wonder and peril. The footage that was captured on that fateful day became a beacon of understanding, serving as a testament to the intricate dance that unfolded between man and nature. In the end, the encounter with the tiger shark transcended the realm of the physical as it took on a whole new dimension. It transformed into a testament that bore witness to the indomitable spirit that resided within every heart. It served as a poignant reminder that the essence of truly living lies within the untamed.
The incident that happened to Whiteman reverberated through the ages, as it became a legendary tale of survival that etched deeply into the annals of Mariner's Cove. It stood as a powerful testament to the dauntless spirit that resided within every individual. Pullman Roger was a man of routine who found solace in the tranquil embrace of nature. At 45, he had weathered the storms of life and found refuge in the simplicity of a fishing rod and the rhythmic lapping of water against the sides of his boat. The year was 2003. It had been a cool autumn morning in Harmony Hughes Beach, a place of serene beauty nestled in the heart of the Gulf of Mexico. The warm and inviting waters of the beach mirrored the vibrant foliage that adorned its banks. Pullman visited this haven for years, knowing every nook and cranny of its shoreline. Unbeknownst to Pullman, the beach harbored more than just the usual base and trout. Among the native species, the beach's advisory board often overlooked the cautious warnings. The placards, faded and weathered, spoke of tiger sharks, a species of fish that Pullman had never imagined encountering in those tranquil waters. He cast his line and the sun began its slow ascent, casting dappled light patterns on the beach's surface. The stillness was only disturbed as the occasional fish leaped, causing a splash. Pullman was lost in the serenity of the moment and failed to notice the aged warning sign, its words fading into obscurity. A disturbance erupted from beneath the surface, shattering the calm. A massive form was breached, with water droplets glistening in the morning light. Pullman's heart pounded in his chest as he beheld the unmistakable stripes of a tiger shark. Its robust body arced, crashing back into the water with a resounding splash. The shark's display of force sent ripples through the beach, rocking Pullman's boat precariously. Panic surged through him as he grappled with the oars, desperately trying to steer towards the safety of the shore. The once familiar landscape seemed foreign and distant as the trees blurred into a kaleidoscope of green. Pullman's shouts echoed through the forest as he desperately pleaded for salvation. He strained against the resistance of the water, battling against the relentless pull of the beach with each stroke. His voice carried through the stillness, reaching the ears of vigilant beach lifeguards stationed nearby. Their immediate reaction was one of urgency, driven by a surge of adrenaline coursing through their veins. They sprinted towards the beach, their footsteps pounding against the soft earth beneath them each stride echoing the urgency of the moment. The sight that unfolded before their eyes was nothing short of primal terror. There, in a watery battleground, they beheld a lone man, his fragile boat precariously balanced on the precipice of disaster, locked in a deadly otherworldly dance with a formidable tiger shark. Amidst the chaos, one of the lifeguards, whose training had honed their reflexes to perfection, assumed a position of authority. With steady hands, they aimed a tranquilizer dart, its sharp tip poised to pierce the surface of the turbulent water. The others watched, their collective breaths held in anxious anticipation. In those critical moments, time seemed to stretch and contort, each passing second feeling like an eternity. Finally, the dart was released, piercing the water with a muted thud, a singular act of hope against the backdrop of impending catastrophe. As the tranquilizer found its mark, the mighty tiger shark's movements began to slow, its once vigorous thrashes gradually devolving into sluggish, languid motions. Pullman's frail boat, tossed about by the tempestuous waters, bobbed with each passing swell. With each passing second, the sedative took hold, gradually diffusing through the shark's powerful body. The peril that had gripped the scene began to loosen its vice-like grip, and the imminent danger slowly subsided. A wave of relief washed over him as the lifeguards towed Pullman to safety. He clung to the sides of the boat, his fingers turning white against the weathered wood. The tiger shark floated nearby, its once docile nature now evident, serving as a testament to the wild beauty and danger lurking beneath the surface. In the aftermath, Pullman sat on the shore, his heart still pounding, adrenaline coursing through his veins. The encounter etched itself into his memory serving as a visceral reminder of the untamed nature that coexisted with his cherished beach. From that day forward, Pullman approached the water with a newfound reverence. He heeded the warnings and respected the boundaries of the beach's ancient inhabitants. Years passed, but the memory remained vivid, weaving a thread into the fabric of Pullman's existence. He carried the story with him, reminding himself that even in the most serene settings, 
the wild's feral spirit could rise, unyielding and magnificent. Pullman's subsequent visits to Harmony Hughes Beach were filled with a mixture of trepidation and awe. With each cast of the line, there was a watchful eye on the water's surface, silently acknowledging the power that lay beneath. The tranquilizer dart saved him. It didn't erase the memory of the shark's primal display. He would often wonder about that tiger shark, contemplating the wonders it held in the depths of the beach. An enormous figure became etched in his mind, a creature that embodied both beauty and danger. During his more tranquil times, Pullman pondered the harmony of the natural world and the peaceful cohabitation of humans and animals. The legend of Pullman's encounter spread through the beach as people whispered about it around Harmony Hughes Beach in hushed tones. It transformed into a cautionary tale, serving as a reminder that even in the most familiar of places, the unexpected could happen. Visitors now approached the beach with newfound respect, heeding the warnings that Pullman had perhaps unwittingly disregarded. As time passed, Pullman's narrative took on a vitality of its own. The story became an integral part of Harmony Hughes Beach's mythology, handed down from one generation of beachgoers and visitors to the next. Pullman himself evolved into a permanent fixture of the beach's history, embodying a living testament to the unbridled essence that resided within its boundaries. The tale unfolded in the serene embrace of Harmony Bay, a coastal gem nestled between towering cliffs that cradled the rugged Pacific Islands. In 2009, modernity and unspoiled nature merged, offering a sanctuary for those who sought solace in the lap of the wild. Harmony Bay was renowned for its crystalline waters, thriving marine life ecosystem, and status as a haven for divers and sunseekers alike. Wong Hang, a 40-year-old man who yearned for respite from the ceaseless urban clamor, embarked on a month-long odyssey to Harmony Bay. His aspiration was simple. He surrendered to the embrace of the ocean, explored its depths, and found solace in its undulating rhythm. Little did he fathom that a rendezvous with a formidable predator could test his resolve and leave an indelible mark on his soul. On a languid afternoon, the cerulean waves of the Pacific beckoned Wong Hang. He donned his snorkeling gear. He ventured into the ocean's depths where the kaleidoscope of marine life mesmerized him. Slivers of sunlight pierced the surface, imbued the coral reef with an ethereal luminosity. While a cavalcade of fish darted and weaved through the aquatic tableau, Yet amid this aquatic symphony, an eerie premonition coursed through Wang Hang's veins. Abruptly, a tranquil tableau shatters. A shadow, ominous and potent, eclipsed the serenity. Wang Hang pivoted and the unyielding gaze of a colossal tiger shark confronted him. Its lithe body cleaved through the water with lethal grace, acting as a silent sentinel of the abyss. With a heart-pounding, frenetic rhythm, Wang Hang realized he had to act swiftly and precisely. He recalled tales of shark encounters, recognizing the vulnerability that lay within their eyes. Summoning every reservoir of courage, he extended his hand toward the oncoming predator, and with relentless determination, plunged his fingers into its unguarded orbs. The shark convulsed in agony as a guttural cry echoed through the depths. Instinctively, Wong Hang's grip was relinquished by it as the taste of blood and the searing pain in its eyes compelled it into a fierce retreat. With a twisted flick of its tail, the tiger shark vanished into the abyss, leaving Wong Hang gasping for breath and shuddering with adrenaline. Miraculously, Wong Hang navigated his way back to the surface where concerned onlookers rushed to his aid. His shouts pierced through the brine-scented air as sturdy arms lifted him to safety. He was ferried ashore where a wailing siren of an ambulance ushered him to the nearest hospital. In the days that ensued, Wong Hang lay in a sterile cocoon of a hospital room, his body a tapestry of contusions and lacerations. The pain was a constant companion, a visceral reminder of the harrowing ballet between life and death. Yet amidst the throes of discomfort, a strange serenity is discovered by him. He peered into the abyss and emerged battered yet unbroken. Recovery became a journey of its own. Each day was marked by incremental victories, a tentative step taken, a breath relieved of pain. Wong Hang found solace in the rhythmic cadence of his heartbeat, a witness to the resilience of the human spirit. His days in the hospital became a reflection chamber where he contemplated the fragility of existence. The memory of the tiger shark's eyes haunted him, 
evoking a strange sense of empathy, as they were once pools of ferocity. The instinct to survive was pitted against the instinct to preserve life, creating a paradox. Weeks dissolved into months, and Wang Hang's wounds mended, leaving behind a roadmap of scars that traced the contours of his indomitable spirit. Gazing out from his hotel room, he saw the ocean mirroring his convalescence, its rhythmic cadence becoming a symphony of resilience. He contemplated the fragile interplay between man and nature, vulnerability and triumph. When Wang Hang returned home, he carried with him the physical scars and a profound understanding of the delicate equilibrium that governed existence. The memory of that fateful encounter wove itself into the tapestry of his life, as a reminder that the human spirit was forged in the crucible of the untamed. Harmony Bay held a piece of his soul, as its tranquil expanse of the ocean provided a sanctuary where one man discovered the untapped depths of his fortitude. In the years that followed, Wong Hang's narrative transformed into a story of survival, passed down in hushed tones by the ocean's waves, serving as a powerful tribute to the unyielding determination that emerged in the face of hardship. His encounter with the tiger shark had been a harrowing trial, but it now stood as a beacon of courage and resilience for those who dared to venture into the untamed heart of the world.